the winners and the runner-up in all the people. Wait is over. It was such a thrilling experience to watch the match and now it's time to crown our champions and celebrate. But before that, I would like to congratulate all the teams for their passion, dedication and outstanding performance. Today, we have witnessed heart-stopping goals, dedicated teamwork, sportsmanship at its finest. Once again, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations to all of you. You all played really very well. Today, we not only played football, but celebrated our shared values, showcased our Leo spirit, we embody the spirit of our service and leadership that defines us as Leos. Our motto, where there is a need, there is Leo. It's more than just a phrase, it's a call to action. With over 7,700 clubs in 150 countries, we are a global family of young people making difference. Our partnership with Lions, empowers us to learn from each other and serve the world in a ways we never thought possible. But being a Leo is more than just a service. It's a journey of person growth and leadership development. We learn to work together, to communicate effectively, and to become an active citizens in our communities. So whether you are 12 or 30, we have a place for you in our Leo family. Let's come together to serve, to learn, and to make the world a better place. If you would like to be a Leo, then you can approach any one of us. Now, respected chief guest, Satyajas Nagvekar, we are deeply graceful for your presence at our Leo Connect Club. Now, I will request you, Mary, to introduce our chief guest, Mr. Satyajas Nagvekar. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to introduce our esteemed chief guest for today's event, Mr. Tejas Vishwas Rao Nagwinkar. Mr. Nagwinkar hails from Rain, Moira, Bardis, Goa, and boasts an impressive educational background with the degrees in MCOM, MBA, BPL, and MPL. He is renowned as a FIFA international football referee and holds the distinction of being the first, first FIFA referee from Goa. Notably, he is also the youngest FIFA referee in India. His expertise and dedication have earned him several accolades, including standing first in the referee's exam held by the All India Football Federation and being named the best referee of India in the 2020-2021 season. As an AFC elite referee since 2016, Mr. Nagwinkar has officiated in major football tournaments across Asia, including the Indian Super League for all 10 seasons, the I-League for the 13 seasons, the Federation Cup, the Durand Cup, and the Santosh Trophy. He, is al he also made history as the first Indian referee to officiate the final of the Indian Super League in 2020-2021. His international experience includes officiating in the World Cup qualifying matches, the AFC Champions League, the AFC Cup, the Asian Cup, and the Olympic qualifying matches. Additionally, he has taken part in the Southeast Asian Cup in Malaysia, the Asian Games in China, and the final national games of held in Goa. Beyond his recurring career, Mr. Nagwinkar currently serves as the physical education teacher at the Shirda Kakulo College, Mapsa. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Mr. Tejas Vishwasrao Nagwinkar. Welcome, sir. Now, our star guest, Mr. Sahil Tawara, renowned player of FC Goa. Thank you for your time from your busy schedule. Your presence has inspired our young sportsmen. I would like Rio Rachel to introduce Sir Sahil Tawara. It's my pleasure to introduce an outstanding figure in Indian football, Sahil Tawara, born on October 19, 1995 in the vibrant state of Goa. Sahil's journey in football began with the youth teams of Tempo SC, where his potential first came to life. Sahil's career truly took off when he joined FC Goa in the Indian Super League, quickly making a name for himself as a versatile and dependable central midfielder. His exceptional passing ability, tireless work rate, and technical acumen on the field 
have made him a standout player. Sahil has also made significant contributions to other ISL clubs, including Mumbai City FC and Hyderabad FC. Notably, his first time, his time with the Hyderabad FC saw him play a key role in the triumphant ISL title win during the 2021-22 season. A testament to his skill and dedication. Now, Sahil Tawara is set to return to the club where he first made his mark as he rejoins FC Goa for the upcoming 2024-25 ISL season starting in September. We eagerly anticipate seeing him bring his expertise and passion back to the cause. Thank you. Thank you to your research. To our honorable MLA, thank you sir for placing the event. I request Leo Joyra to introduce a special guest. Dignitaries on the days, thank you for making the time to be with us here today. As we know, Sir Carlos doesn't really require an introduction, but, is, but it is my distinct honor to do so. Sir Carlos Eugenio da Costa Alvarez Ferreira, also known as Advocate Ferreira, is a senior Indian lawyer who practices in the Bombay High Court at Goa and at the Apex Court, which is the Supreme Court in Delhi. He has been one of the youngest serving Advocate Generals in Indian history. He has also held the position of State Public Prosecutor in the Bombay High Court in Goa and has also served as the Assistant Solicitor General in India under the Indian National Congress headed by the then PM Man Mohan Singh. Sir Carlos was born in Panjim on the 25th of June 1966. His father, Charles Ferreira Alvarez, was a banker who later on went to become a lawyer and a homeopathic doctor. He did his schooling from Loyola School in Margao and went on to pursue arts at Parvati Bai Jogule College, Mar sorry, following that he pursued law at Tane College in Margao. Sir Carlos married Natasha da Costa, daughter of the late Brigadier Ian da Costa from Saligao in January 1995. In June 1996, they welcomed their first son, Armando Ferreira Alvarez followed by their second son, Daniel Alvarez Ferreira, in September of 1997. Sir Carlos's career as a lawyer began in 1987 when he graduated from Curry Law College, where he practiced under his father for a while before completely disassociating and starting his own practice in Panjim. He was one of the youngest advocate generals to be appointed in the history of India by Luisino Ferreiro, the then CM of our state. Leto was appointed the Assistant Solicitor General of India to the then Man Mohan Singh-led government from the year 2004 to 2014. He also served as the legal advisor to the then Governor of Goa, Maharashtra and Odisha, S. C. Chandir. Sir Carlos was also the public prosecutor for the state of Goa for the Indian National Congress. Apart from this, he is, he is an amazing pianist and he is the regional coordinator for the Royal School of Music in London. Advocate Carlos is a staunch believer of propagating music and he has always enabled children and people of all ages to take up music as an addition to their current curriculum to be able to shine across all over the world. Apart from his passion for music, he has been a steadfast advocate for athletes, ensuring that they receive due recognition for their participation in the national games when their efforts were overlooked by the academic institutions. He is truly a man of his words and a man of his actions. Thank you, Leah Jaya. Now, our star guest, Ms. Katya Aida Koyro, our Indian professional with support. Your presence has, has inspired our young athletes today. Thank you for being here. Now, I request Leo Richard to introduce a star guest, Ms. Katya Aida At just 24 years old, Katya has already made an unvanishable mark in her field. She is a 15-time national gold medalist, a testament to her firm commitment and extraordinary skill. Her strongest matches extend beyond national borders, as she has clinched double Asian bronze medals and has made history as India's first woman midfielder. In 2014, Katya
Bhatia became the only Indian to qualify for the Youth Olympics, showcasing her talent on a global stage. Her journey continued as she made her mark as an Asian Games athlete, and in 2018, she became the first Indian female to qualify for the Asian Games in windsurfing. Katya's impressive career includes winning India's first international silver medal in the IQ foil women's category, an Olympic class event. In 2023, she achieved another milestone by qualifying for the World Championship in The Hague, becoming the sole Indian woman to complete in the IQ foil category at the prestigious event. Her recent victory as the 37th National Games gold medalist in 2023 further underscores her dominance and exceptional talent in windsurfing. Katya, Katya Aida Coelho is not just a champion, she is an inspiring countless others with dedication and remarkable achievements. Thank you. Thank you, Hiya Nature. With that, we also have a rising star, Ms. Sushmita Jadav and Mahe Maria Varda. We have already introduced them. So now, I would like uh, our chief guest, Sir Tejas Nagwekar, to say a few words with regards to the today's tournament. I say home field because I played here my school matches. And to make a note that my first Refereeing career started from this ground. I officiated my first match on Itla ground. I am not a public speaker. I will speak very less, don't worry. I just want to say a few words and message to all the youngsters present here. Whatever dream, what, whatever you dream, Make it a point that you work hard for whatever you dream. It is not just, I remember the phrase from APJ Abdul Kalam. He is saying that it, dream is not what you will see when you are sleeping. Dream is thing that which doesn't allow you to sleep. So whatever you dream, try to work hard towards it and give nothing less than 100% for what you dream. I congratulate all the teams who have participated in this tournament and the winners. It is very nice to see the girls teams taking part in this tournament. Really encouraging. It is really nice work the Leos of Aldona is doing. I thank Leos of Aldona for inviting me here as a chief guest. And once again congratulate all the teams participating in this tournament. guest here. It's an honor of mine to be here. Uh, I, like Mr. Tejas, am not a public speaker, so this will be very short. Uh, unlike him, I did not start my career um, on this pitch, but I have been to many football pitches like this growing up, and um, I think this is where my dream sort of started on pitches like this, to become a professional footballer. And you know, I got to see a small glimpse of a match here and I think many of you um, have the same dream of wanting to be a professional player. And again, I'm going to take a leaf out of uh, Mr. Tejas' book and say that, um, yes, it's, it requires a lot of hard work and dedication to achieve your dreams. Um, it's often a very tough journey, but I think once you get there, it's a really beautiful destination. So. I hope that um, you guys continue to push through and work towards your dream and hopefully one day someone from here will be achieving a lot more things than, than all of us have. So thank you very much. Uh, 
I'm on home ground. I don't know what to say. <laughs> but uh, a few things I want to share. Uh, our chief guest, Tejas, I know him very well. Uh, being a distinguished sportsman, as you have seen, as they rolled out all what he has achieved. I've known his father, who has been one of my proposals for the elections and very, very dear and close to us. I'm very glad that they just accepted this invitation and Leo Club thought of him and uh, brought him here. I'm, I can guarantee you that you can use his uh, talent to nurture other younger talents to bring them up to a level so they can be, go to the state level and international level. Sail Tawara and uh, Katya, I want to say something first, something which I share common with them. I know them not now, I knew their grandfathers. So you can imagine what generation back uh, his uh, Sail's grandfather, Sr. Lube Tawara, used to come to my grandmother's house in Panjim, very, very friendly, very nice gentleman, lover of football, and I remember also, he specially went all the way to Portugal to witness a match. And, uh, but he was very crazy about football. Uh, Katya, on her part, uh, and you have seen already what he has achieved, and uh, it shows that determination, if you have that determination, you can achieve your dreams, which everyone keeps speaking about. Katya, on the other hand, her grandfather, Eddie Pies, was also very, very close to us. They are from Asolna originally. And uh, uh, Eddie Pies was my father's friend and my client, father's client too. And the, her grand uncle, Benny Pies, still keeps in touch with me. And uh, she and her brother, Dane, uh, I think he takes your grandfather's name second, no? Edgar, yeah. So they're international class windsurfers. And her father too has been an international coach and uh, he has also been in the top ranks. And if we take a leaf out of these two who have made not just Goa proud but India a name, etched a name in the Indian Hall of in the International Hall of Fame, I think we can fight to be better than what we are today. Just one small thing I want to share with you. I passed out from in Margaon from Loyola School in my secondary, from 5th to 10th. And the Jesuits have one thing on their logo, AMDG. And as a student, we always crack jokes. And we would say, Adam Melo Dobian Gelo. <laughs> but then I said, it can't be this. So I asked our uh, Father Savio Rodriguez, who was yet to become the principal, but I asked him, Father, what does that mean? And he said it means ad maiorem dei gloriam, which means for the greater glory of God. And I asked him, why is it not for the greatest glory? Because why don't we do the best for God? And he said something to me, which I never forgot, and something I keep in my life till today. He says, we do the best, but we always are sure that someone in the next behind us can come and do better. So that's why that word, for the greater and not greatest, greater glory of God means whatever we do best, there will be someone doing still greater. And that's what I believe. Don't rest on laurels of your fellow friends, ancestors, or anybody in your past, in your family. You take up the challenge and you try to be better than what they were before. And I think if you try to keep this target of trying to be better, you will achieve many, many more targets and dreams. I thank the Leo Club for having invited me. I thank the Leo Club for having organized this tournament. The youth are vibrant and the youth are also enthusiastic to a lot of things. I ask many other youths who are not part of the Leo Club to join the Leo Club because I know that they have a lot of activities pro uh, planned for the year ahead. And uh, with the guidance of the Lions Club, which is like the mother club uh, under direction of Mabel and uh, Chef Moses, who is a uh, very famous chef. Uh, Maria Orta, who has been an international uh, player, and Miss Jadav too. They're all very, very refined players. Uh, with uh, Marvin, uh, Marvin Fernandez, and uh, the entire team. Where's Milton? I can't see Milton. Yeah, Milton. 
and Colin, of course, has been also another very fine sportsman. And Gopal Das, never giving up whenever there is. Uh, I'll tell you something a little off the thing. When I was on a tour, you know, just recently we came back. When we entered a Goan house, we got the smell of Goan food, and you felt like you're in Goa. Same way, when Gopal Das sees or hears about football, that smell of football takes him there, and he makes sure that that tournament or the match will be much more interesting than what you had just come for. So a big hand to the organizers too for having organized a wonderful tournament. I congratulate the winners. I congratulate also the runners up and I wish all the teams participating all the best in future. Thank you very much. Okay, look here, look here. Okay, look here, look here. Good evening everybody, dignitaries in the days. To all the athletes here, sports isn't just about the physical strength. It's about building character, learning discipline and understanding the value of teamwork. And that is exactly what we saw today. I was very pleased to see so many female athletes here. It gives me immense joy. And yeah, I would just like to thank Leo Club for having me here. Uh, it was an amazing experience. And yeah, thank you. Uh, congratulations to all of you. Really well done. Thank you so much. Get that with us this morning, right now. Look here, look at me, look at me. Look at, look at me. Yeah. Okay, look here. Yeah. 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 I request okay, here, your Madsen to kindly give away. Yeah. Okay, look here, look here. Yeah. A token of our appreciation from the Leo Club of Alabama. Look here. Yeah. Okay, look here. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. I request Lion Mervin to give away the housey prize to Jesus. Okay, look here. Look at me. Yeah. Jesus. Page in Jesus. Yeah. Okay, look here. Yeah. All the okay, I request here, Joseph here. Fernandez as well to come in front in these a small token of appreciation. Okay, look here. Look here. Look, here. look at me, look at me. Then look here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. Congratulations to the winners and the runners up. I would just like to give a small message. Remember to dream big. Don't dream the possible, dream the impossible. Also, I would like to thank the Lions Club of Haldana for having me here. I had a lovely time. Thank you. Congratulations once again to Igor Mangre B for being the runners up of the first ever tournament, Leo Connect Cup, organized by the Leo Club of Aldana. <laughs> and the cash prize of rupees 10,000. Good evening everyone.
everyone. As we, pay attention. as we conclude this exciting sports tournament, it is my privilege to deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of the organizing committee. First and foremost, I would like to extend our deepest gratitude to our chief guest, Mr. Tejas Narvikar, for gracing us with your presence and inspiring us with your encouraging words. Your support means a great deal to us. We are deeply grateful to our MLA, Sir Advocate Carlos Alvarez Ferreira, for gracing us at our event with your distinguished presence as we thank you for taking out time from your busy schedule to be with us today. A special word of thanks to our guest stars for today, uh, being with us today, Ms. Katya Coelho, Mr. Sayil Tora, Ms. Sushmita Jadav, Mrs. Maria Fernandez, your presence has added excitement and inspiration to our game. We are honored to have you as part of our football family. A heartfelt thanks to all the participating teams for your outstanding performance. Your dedication, hard work and enthusiasm have made this event truly remarkable. To the coaches and the trainers, thank you for your relentless efforts in preparing the players. Your guidance and mentorship have been crucial to their success. We are also grateful to our referees and officials for ensuring fair play and maintaining the integrity of the games. Your commitment to upholding the rules has been exemplary. Not forgetting the PHC staff who were here to help us in case of emergency. A big thank you to the Lions Club Aldona, our parent club, for all the guidance and generous support without which this event would not have been possible. A special thank you to all our sponsors, Lion Advocate Carlos Ferreira Alvarez, MJF Lion Mervin Fernandez, MJF Lion Sylvia Fernandez, PNJF Lion Jay Amol Naik, PNJF Lion Rajeshwar Hiramant, PNJF Lion Sandeep Kurgankar, Lion Tom Menezes, PMJF Lion Sashindra Nair, Lion Rohan Savekar, Lion Vincent Kondalik, PMJF Lion Murtaza Mandrirwala, Miss Venezia Baez, PMJF Lion Sadanand Verikar, PMJF Lion Reyes Hakim Ahmed, Miss Abitnya Sakekar, PMJF Lion Manoj Manik, Lion Moses and Lion Maria Fernandez, Ms. Vanessa N. Kosasa. Your contribution have been instrumental in making this event go smooth and successful. To the organizing committee and volunteers, your meticulous planning and tireless efforts behind the scenes have ensured the smooth execution of this event. We deeply appreciate your dedication and hard work. Thank you to the spectators and supporters for your enthusiasm encouragement and creating an electric atmosphere. A big thank you to the venue staff and technical team for providing excellent facilities and ensuring everything ran smoothly. Your efforts have significantly contributed to success of this tournament. Thank you once all once again for being part of this fantastic event. You have made this sports tournament a memorable and successful occasion. Have a good evening. Good evening, we shouldn't have heard anything. They were doing excellent commentary in Konkani, English. They made sure that everybody was guided where the bathrooms was, who was coming in, who was going, what rules, that, everything. I think they deserve a big round of applause. And now I request...